Nintendo is much more than that. Nintendo is, well, almost the most fun a kid can have. Here's Joel Loy. This boy is doing more than just playing a video game. He has entered another world, a world of danger, intrigue, and magic. This is the world of the Super Mario Brothers. Put it on the screen, and where there was one kid, you'll soon find two, or three, or more. The game's protagonists, Mario and his nearly identical brother, Luigi, are heroic. The Super Mario Brothers face each foe undaunted, time and time again. But who are these guys? Who are the Mario Brothers? I don't know. The hockey players? All I can think of is the guy in the library, Mario Puzzi. They're characters on Nintendo. Have you ever heard of Nintendo? No. Let's see. I think it's something in uh, Japanese. Nintendo is something that started in Japan and has taken America by storm. In just three years, they've sold more than 11 million hardware units at about 100 bucks each. They've got more gadgets, zappers, and gizmos than you can shake a joystick at, and about 80 different games you can buy to plug into the systems. So far, Nintendo has sold more than 50 million game cartridges. By the end of this year, they hope to have their system in one out of every eight American homes. The game that comes with the hardware purchase is Super Mario Brothers. Mario and Luigi are Nintendo's superstar characters. In the games, they battle their way through a perilous maze of adventure and daring do. Out in the real world, their images adorn everything from sweatshirts to underwear. We found Nintendo America headquarters near Seattle. In true Inside Edition fashion, we had some tough questions we wanted answered. Now we have Mario and Luigi. Luigi his now, brother. They're the Mario brothers. That's right. So are their names Mario Mario and Luigi Mario? No, it's just Mario and Luigi. There are no last names. But why are they the Mario brothers? <laughs> Some questions just have no answers. There are answers inside Mario Mission Control, where games counselors take thousands of calls from players every day. Okay, um, to get the magical sword, what you need is 12 heart containers. Have you ever been to the mansion that has the eyeball in it? These people play video games for a living. Consider that the Super Mario Brothers game has eight worlds and 32 levels. Kids and grown-ups can get fanatical about finding out the best way to get from point A to point B. It takes countless hours, weeks, and even months for some to get to the end of the game using trial and error and secret passages that aren't always detailed in the instruction books. No wonder the game borders on obsession for kids and adults. Sooner or later, you're going to need some tips from the pros. For instance, two of the baddest of the bad guys are the Hammer Brothers, but you can outwit them. When you're in level 3-1, there's going to be a spot about halfway through where you're going to run into the Hammer Brothers. Head to the right a little bit. There's going to be two sets of uh, three bricks right on top of each other. Hit the brick on the right-hand side, and a beanstalk will appear. You'll end up in the Sky World, and you can collect a whole ton of coins. Stage three, dash one. Towards the end of the stage, there's going to be a large staircase. Bypass the first turtle. On the second one, jump up towards the left-hand side of him, land on him, and continue to jump up and down. That's the way to get 99 free men on Super Mario Brothers and a whole lot of points. Once again, I asked, who are Mario and Luigi? And this time, I was told that they are us, the best of what's really inside each of us. They're the nice guys and the guys who, who are suddenly thrown into this fantasy world where they've got the ultimate challenge ahead of themselves. Can they rescue a princess? Can they save the world? And that's all of us. All this is beyond me. I, I had trouble with Lincoln Logs. Remember Lincoln Logs? I mean, that was it for me. Kids and fantasy. And while we're on the subject of fantasy, our weekly feature, the top five tabloid headlines of the week, is next, and you don't want to miss this.